Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we're going to look at my elephant door holder version 2.0. A little over a week ago, I explained uh, to you guys on the video in the blog at cncri.com that I kept having doors open and closing with the wind in my house, and it was just driving me nuts. And one way to solve that is to always close the doors. The other way is to make a custom door holder. Now this one here is version 1.0, and it was the first time I had an elephant door holder, and it was sort of okay. I knew it had some design issues with it, um, but I wanted to see how it worked and how it performed. It actually worked extremely well. I was really surprised at how well um, the doors just stopped moving in the house all by themselves with the wind. Now, based on the last uh, week and a half experience using this, I made quite a few changes to the design. And the biggest one you can notice right away is the size. I noticed with this little one, it was so small that I never noticed it and I kept tripping over it whenever the door would move a little bit. And the other thing that I didn't like about this design when it, when the first time I did it was actually these screws here in the front to hold the back pegs. Now I solved that by screwing in through the back. Now the glue is still drying on this, uh, but I did happen to split a little bit of the wood so I had to put a lot of extra glue. But this one here solves quite a few issues. One, it's bigger, uh, so I can't miss it. It also has a motivational quote on it. I figure I might as well do that because uh, I had a large surface area with nothing going on and I like to have something going on if I'm going to have a large surface area.
with wood, whenever you're laser cutting or CNC routering the wood, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you always have a knot at the worst spot. Now I knew I had a knot in the wood, in the back of it, so that's why I left it in the back of the wood instead of the front. So when I laser engraved and cut this pine, it cut totally fine. I made a lot of double passes just to make sure I got through this one area of knot without too much, too much of an issue. Uh, so it, I was able to cut right through with the laser, which is great. Now when it comes to the larger door holder, the other advantage to having something so big is it's very easy to put at the door and it just holds the door a lot better because it has a lot more weight to it. Pine is a very lightweight material. So this one here literally weighs about four times more than this one. And it does, it does feel more substantial. So if I was giving somebody a gift, let's say of a door holder of you know, any design you could think of, I'd uh, definitely make something this large for just for the presents. It's a little bit like uh, corporate awards and trophies you give to kids and stuff like that. If you give them something that's very lightweight, it just doesn't have much presence to it. But if you have a nice solid weight to it, it feels great. Now comparing the first version to the second version, it's quite a big difference and there's quite a few uh, small little things that I made to make the production cycle a lot easier. Now if I was going to make a whole bunch of these things here, I'd probably even improve the design even further, but for my purposes this is more than adequate to hold the door. And what's great is that now we're going into winter time, all the windows are closed, so to be quite frank the doors don't move anymore anyways, but it's a nice uh, item to have for the next summer. So if you're looking for custom woodworking, any size, any shape, any material, contact me at cncri.com and I'll make it for you.